Welcome to Brisbane in Australia. Hi, I'm Stu. I'm a backpacker from England and I am here in Brisbane for one night. I arrived here about an hour ago. I leave at half past six tomorrow morning to go to the airport. But while I'm here, I thought I'd show you the sights. And as the sun is going down, it's actually quite pretty. But I'm going to head into the main part of the city. I was here a couple of years ago. I want to see if it's changed. It has changed a lot. There's a lot more buildings, taller buildings. Like them lot. Well, I've come to stay in a hostel, mainly because I'm on a budget. Um, there was a little bit of excitement when I got there. I just checked in, got into my four man room, and all the fire alarms went off. Had nothing to do with me. And this was the result. Fire engines came along. We were all still outside wondering what was going on. And then we found out somebody had just set the fire alarms off by accident. So it is coming up to about six o'clock at night. And after five weeks of being in Australia and Northern Queensland, straight from England, this is the busiest I've seen Australia. When you're in places like Cairns and going further up north to the Tablelands, it's just so quiet. I'm missing it already. I'm hoping to see something interesting who knows now I've been walking around for about 10 minutes not that long and it's only now I just realized at six o'clock I've not had anything to eat since this morning I am hungry now from tomorrow morning once I hit Fiji and the rest of the South Pacific Islands this could be my last chance to get some Western food so I'm gonna splurge out on my budget that I have and go a little bit crazy pick and whistle it was a bit posh Check out the prices. It is above my budget. As I said, it's my last night in Australia, so I strip myself. That was delicious, and just in case you're wondering what I had, obviously, I'm British, fish and chips. So now it's got a little bit darker. Not too sure if I should be out this time of night. But there's plenty of lights around. Building with pretty lights on. Just have a walk around seeing what there is. Now because I've got an early morning flight, I am wondering if I should actually go back to the hostel. And I'm a little bit lost already because I've no idea where I'm going. This is a bit random. So this is the cultural side. So across the road there you've got the Queensland Museum. And then further on down you've got some theatres. 
very cultural. And all I'm going to try and do, because obviously everything's closed this time of night, is just carry on walking. Until my legs get tired. Or find the hostel. I've just found some stairs, so I thought climb them. Not too sure what's here. That's a performing arts centre. That's quite a funky building. Lots going on, but not for me. And when you look at them buildings, all the lights on, it's quite impressive. So we're coming towards another bridge which was further down than the one I was on earlier. Oh, another performing arts. I mean, I'm not going to get a chance to see it during the day. Oh, so this is leading up to the river. There seems to be lots of people around. I'm dead nosy. So there's something going on. I just heard some people making a bit of applause. There was a lot of people in shirt and ties, suits, looked a bit too official. So I think it's an opening of something, <laughs> who knows, but in front of me there is the wheel, every seat has got one. And I'm going to try and get down by the river bank to show you what's like down there. So I'll come down to the river bank. Here is the river, and look at Brisbane at night. That is beautiful. So I am going to have a wander over there. See them red lights, see what they are. But it's just stunning. And there's so many people around me. And they use this path here to go running, walking, cycling.
and then just behind me is where that little formal party is so they've got a nice view of it but it's really nice so I'm going to sit here for about another five minutes and just stare at the lights so it's now time to have a walk across the bridge and take me across to the side and see what the pretty lights are all about that is if I don't get knocked over by a bike So this is the bridge that you saw up in blue while I was on the riverbank and that's the original bridge you saw me walking over earlier when I left the hostel all up in blue and as you walk across it's quite busy this time of night Traffic. We still got the people out. I've had two bikes nearly knocked me over. There's that building over there that I'm going to go and try and see in red. Oh, yep. They're determined to kill me. This is it. Not got a clue what it is, so obviously I need to go across. Is it the library? But round me, you've got all these different poles and that one's not lit up but a lot of them are hate to know what the electricity bill for the city is they go different colours, they're all over the place around here quite pretty But I am determined to find out what it is. Oh, I see a sign. Treasury. Treasury Brisbane, Fat Noodles and Casino. Not the sort of treasury that I was expecting it was. I'm assuming that it was a treasury in the past and it's been bought out. So I'm gonna have a wander down here. I think my hostel's that way. But I'm feeling adventurous. It's a shell. No, I'm not going in.
shops more shops it's a shopping street so that's Queen Street Mall and 8 o'clock at night and it's still busy but I've just seen loads of people trying to take photographs of that there pretty so that's a cathedral over there and again all it up Don't have a wonder down here. I think this is a way to my hostel. I'll give it another 10 15 minutes before I actually look at a map. Because usually that's the best way to find things. Just by getting lost. Now that building does look pretty amazing. And then it goes all the way up. was all the way around. Quite funky. Bit of a closer look. Try not to stand on the, the road in case I get knocked over by bikes. I mean, I don't even know what the building is. But it looks expensive. This is definitely the business side of Brisbane. But it's time to head back to the hostel. And I think I'd better get a map out. That might be the river bank. Which means I need to go this way. Who needs maps? And there is my first kangaroo statue. Thought I'd share that with you because even though Austra Australians love the kangaroos, the first one I've seen in statue form. I'm still on my way to the hostel. I still haven't consulted the map. So I think I might... I may have to do it now. And I didn't need a map. I knew exactly where I was going. And this is the hostel area. We just passed the chill hostel. You've got the summer house by Packers hostel. And at the very end is the YHE. 
Now they all are about the same price. Some are a bit cheaper. The YH is not the cheapest, but it's probably one of the most professional hostels that you have around here. I've stayed it before, stayed and chill before. There's a big difference. And because it is my last night, I just needed a decent hostel to sleep in before my big adventure tomorrow and the start of the South Pacific Islands. I am very excited. You can probably tell by my face. So I'm just going to show you what hostel life is like. Because some people have this image that is just full of drunken people. Not always. Let's try the bar area. So this hostel is so big that this is on the other side and this takes us straight up to the rooftop bar. I want to have a look at that. I fancy one beer before I go to bed. This is a rooftop bar. We just need to point the most speed and go to the lowest place to get it. Awesome. 